Take care, guys, and I thank you very much for coming down. Yeah, it was great to yeah. see you. This is Charlie Hour, Jr. His father is the one that started this place. When did Charlie start this place? 1928. 1928. Mm -hmm. I heard from some people that this was once a brothel down here. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. I think Never it, was. I think that was an urban legend. No, there was yeah. one up further. Up further? Where? When you go back up, there's a yellow house up there. Okay. Way up on yep. Elbow Lane. All right. That's where it was, never here. Oh, okay. And if you go back in the paper, I think it was 1960 or somewhere, there was an article explaining where that was and telling you back in the, the 20s, uh, the train used to stop and let them off. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, the tracks are right up here, yeah. Yeah, Rutland Railroad. Yeah. It was here in 1900, went yep. out in 1960 or somewhere, went bankrupt. Yeah, they ripped I ripped them out in '72, I guess it was '74. Yeah, I, yeah, I grew up down here. We still had the tracks down when I when we moved out here in '61, '62. Yeah, yeah, and they had the real bridge up too before they built yes. the bike bridge. Yeah, they uh, took the bridge out by filling in the half of the river. Yeah, that's why it's still filled in today. My father would get a load of dirt, and the co engineers would jump on him, and say you're doing something you're not supposed to do. They fill in 50 acres over there. And uh, we couldn't do nothing. Yeah, typical government. Yeah. Now, you mentioned that Charlie Sr. was a, was a war veteran and he was wounded? Pardon? Yes. Yeah. World War I? No. He was chasing Pancho Villa. Oh, no kidding, 1914. He was there till 1917. He was stationed at Fort Bliss, Texas. And that's where he come down with tuberculosis, too. Yeah. And that's what finished him. He had one lung completely closed and the other one three quarters working. And uh, when he, uh, and he was 85, he went to Mary Fletcher Hospital to find out. The doctor sent him up there and then they took x-rays and everything. They said, this man should have never worked a day in his life. Uh, we're sending him to White River Junction. White River Junction looked up his paperwork and it said when he was discharged, it said he had tuberculosis and everything, and uh, when he uh, got discharged, they said health's good, and they said about riding, they said, un how do they say that? There's a word for it. Unriding or something like that. Yeah. That means he couldn't ride. They said, no, my father said, no, I couldn't ride. I had tuberculosis. Yeah. <laughs> and so he never, got a, he never got a pension either. Yeah. When he put in for it, he's 85 years old, they told him, and they had it. You had to take it at the time or not take it. Yeah. But he figured he wanted to go to work, and if he could work, he would not accept, and that was writing, not accept any money from his country. Yeah, that's the old Vermont way, the, yes. old, the old way. And that's right. And my brother, he had both knees uh, gone in the Navy, and uh, when he came home, they had a 5220 club. And yeah. he told my father he was going to go in that 5220 club until he healed. He said, No, you're not. You're going to work now. Forget collecting any from the government. He never did. He went to work. That's the way it was. Yes. Yeah, thanks, Charlie. Hey, you're welcome.